Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Trey, and let's talk about the X Men because apparently there is a rumor that the X Men are going to be called the Mutants. That's their introduction to the MCU, and you know because Victoria Alonso with other weirdos thought that you know calling the x-men the x-men is offensive and it is not fair because there's a whole bunch of women in the x-men and it's just like it's just a team name you dumb bitch like damn that's the problem they keep we got too many people that want to want to look at the surface levels of things and always want to get offended over things that most people really aren't offended with who was asking you to change the X-Men from whatever. Y you know what I mean? And what's going to happen is, I already going to tell you, I already, I already can predict this, that when the MCU does the, um, the X-Men and Fantastic Four, you guys are going to miss the Fox stuff. You guys are going to miss the Fox stuff. You, you, uh, A lot of y'all always want to try to pretend like, Oh, the Fantastic Four and the X-Men movies that Fox did were so damn terrible. And once Marvel gets in there, they're going to really have something to say. No, no, they're going to be they're going to be awful. The characters are going to be unnecessarily race swapped. It's going to be a whole bunch of LGBT bullshit that nobody asks for. No, you, trust me, you you will love the early 2000s Fantastic Four and X-Men movies. Yeah, the X-Men movies been a little bit flop, and the only reason why we didn't get more Fantastic Four was because of the reception of Rise of Silver Surfer. Even if it did do well at the box office, it's just that everybody was pissed off that it's called Rise of Silver Surfer. Everybody was expecting Galactus, and Galactus never showed up because Fox wanted to do a Silver Surfer movie first and introduce Galactus, and then do Fantastic Four 3, where Galactus show up. So... It's one of those, you know, interesting kind of things, but I just kind of find it funny. You know, we pretend like, oh, all of a sudden, um, what Fox and them were doing was completely terrible. No, they weren't. Yeah, it could it could have been better, of course. But I doubt what Marvel's giving us, because Marvel's been on the on this silly edge thing, trying to make it, I guess, kid friendly. That's what I would have to look at it like kid friendly because that's exactly what it is but um it's just a rumor we're not going to we're not going i'm not confirming nor denying that that's a little thing but they said um it's supposed to appear at san diego comic-con this um this week so we'll see if it's confirmed because i mean they are the reason why it is believable is because like i said victoria alonzo and the writers of the new X-Men um, 1997, you know, they were already talking about changing the X-Men around to fit today's standards <laughs> or accommodate to, to today's standards. And it's just like, no, those characters, the 1990s X-Men are completely different than today's X-Men. And it's just weird because you got two, you, the X-Men, they're all fucking each other. Um, all the characters who were never gay are now gay. Um, characters who were never um, another race are now another race. Then, then we're trying to add Kamala Khan bitch ass in there, which, by the way, for diversity's sake, it's kind of funny. You took a Japanese girl's um, power and gave it to the Pakistani Muslim girl, but you, but we but we love diversity and inclusion. But the first the character who had that power was armor. The first character created had that power was armor, and it's actually pathetic and bullshit of you know oh shit of marvel to do that to that character because y'all didn't like her power set but y'all approved of her power set in the comic books you get what i'm saying like you see how that doesn't even make any sense you gave her stretchy fist bitch arms then you had an entire video game surrounded the character so you can't say that you didn't believe in it or you wouldn't have made a video game around it or even had shows that showed her powers because you, you could easily change the powers by now but you didn't her powers not even changed in the comic books so again what was the point of that and i'm not saying some people's powers can't can't change or anything but she's an inhuman so 
the only way that'll work is that her mom or her dad would have had to have been a mutant to begin with in order for her powers to be changed. But since that's not that case, you know, like that's not that case, then no. And the reason why I'm saying that is because the, the, the only reason why that can work is because Luna, Luna Maximoff, who is the daughter of Quicksilver and Crystal of the Inhumans, they had, a, you know, she's a mutant and an inhuman. So for her, her powers activated, her mutant powers activated on top of her inhuman powers from the Terra Genis. So she has two different sets of abilities. Makes sense. Kamala Khan isn't a mutant. Her parents isn't mutants anyway. So it's just kind of weird that you guys pick that route to go that kind of thing. But, you know, hey, it's no point of me giving you guys ideas because you guys don't like to listen to um, comic book fans or people who are actually creative, who actually care about these characters, who actually want to see these characters see. But, you know, you know, no. listen to people who say, I hate care. I hate these comic book characters. These comic book characters need to be changed. They're offensive to people who don't really care about comic books to begin with. Yeah, smart move, smart move, Marvel. And then, of course, they said um, Blade is supposed to also be thing too. And I think they said that Blade is also going to be a mutant because of the fact that his um, mom was bitten by a vampire, and the the power sets of a vampire got passed on to to uh, Blade since he was born with those powers. But it's just kind of like that's not that's not the same thing though because his mom was bitten by a vampire while she was pregnant with I mean while she's pregnant with Blade so he's not a mutant he's just he's just half human half vampire you know and vampirism isn't a mutation that is part of the X gene no that was something that has to be created but again what do what do I know you know I, I don't know anything about it and then the movie's gonna be called The Blade <laughs> what the fuck why you put the the blade for like just call it blade you know just call it blade I, I i don't know i just find it weird and i heard that the the x-men 92 comic book is also doing the Krakoa era thing so i guess if we want to see the x-men i guess we'll see i guess i have to read the Krakoa era of 1992 and see how that'll be because i think that'll be how the x-men will appear in the thing like oh we've been on Krakoa the whole time and mutants mutants doesn't um don't deal with human thing and stuff like that and again it, it'll go all the way back to where we at with the thanos thing you get what i'm saying so i don't know i just i just kind of find it funny that the, it's gonna be called the mutants but all i know is you refuse to be stupid at this point you got to refuse to be stupid to think that that's brand recognition people are not going to look at that you or what you could do is you could call it x-men the mutants or the mutants x-men you know do something but the brand recognition is x-men there is no if ands and buts about it stop trying to fix something that doesn't need to be fixed you know again y'all doing that whole gretchen thing gretchen stop trying to make fetch happen it's never going to happen marvel stop trying to get rid of x-men it's never going to happen like at this point at this point i I want Disney to start losing the rights for some of this stuff. They, the, the entertainment business has been scapped with too much of of Disney having too much control. It's time for them to lose something. They shouldn't have got approved to get Fox. They shouldn't have got approved to get ABC or ESPN. You know, there is Star Wars either. There is too much for this company to handle, and they're destroying the brand recognition for these characters. People be trying to com be confused why why people are walking away from these brands or whatever and stuff like that. Yeah, it might not be a major drop like y'all are thinking, but y'all always want to try to figure out what's going on, why this wasn't well received or whatever. Or y'all have the brand recognition and then y'all screw it up and piss most fans off. Don't do it, you know, and don't. I'm telling you, do not go this route with the X-Men. Call them the X-Men, please. I beg. I don't know if this is true or not. I hope it's not true. But don't do any of the new shit that you're doing with the X-Men. Do classic X-Men. Classic X-Men. You, you remember the X-Men 90 show? Just do that. Just do that. That's all you got to do. Do that. Take iconic storylines from the the 80s all the way to the um the 2000s 
And that's it. Stop there. And that's it. That's all you got to do. Don't do anything else. Don't do, don't touch no 2010 bullshit. Don't touch none of that. Don't touch no Avengers versus X-Men. None of it. Don't touch it. And for God's sakes, do not adapt the Dark Phoenix saga. Especially if you're not going to do it right. Don't do it. Leave it alone. We done had two attempts. And the reason why Dark Phoenix couldn't really do what it wanted to do is because Disney, y'all self-sabotaged y'all own self. Make that make sense. How the hell are you going to buy Fox in the middle of Fox doing a Dark Phoenix um, story and tell them, hey, cut all this bullshit out because we got Captain Marvel coming our way. And we don't want we don't want um, X Men, um, Dark Phoenix to affect us at the time that you are buying the company. So you 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 set up there and took a loss on purpose just to boost a um, a character that everybody already know you cooked the books for. I don't even know y'all saying we all know that Captain Marvel books were cooked. Ain't nobody. All these people, people ain't going to be lying about empty, empty theaters that claim that they're sold out. Oh, okay. Right, 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 right. People forget that you can easily write off stuff once you give it away for free. Ooh, ho, ho, struck a nerve with that one. But no, um, honest to God, I'm just, I just do not want, I just do not want the X-Men not to be called the X-Men. You know what I'm saying? Call them whatever you need to call them. Do whatever you need to do with them. But just call them X-Men, you know? And seriously, do not do the freaky bullshit with Krakoa. Do not do the the LGBT nonsense with the characters. Half of the characters cannot be LGBT. And half of the characters cannot be race swapped. No. Especially for a team that's already diverse enough. All you got to do is the first time we do the X-Men, you introduce them with the first class and then work your way up to the to the 80s and work your way up to the 90s. And like I said before, if you need an idea to start with young X-Men characters and given the reason why they were secret or whatever, use X-Men Evolution. You already have X-Men Evolution as a good blueprint. Just look at that, follow what they did, what made it successful, and work your way from there. That's all I got to say on the subject. But those are my thoughts. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section below, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.